Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my channel. I'm Rofia Seen, and you guys are learning ASP.NET Core MVC uh, .NET 5, and we are developing a, a e-commerce web application. In previous video, we have created this categories table, and we have seen everything was done successfully, and we 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 was able to create our database and migrations, all the stuff. Now, in this video, I'm going to discuss the concept of base entities. and how base entities are useful and how to create base entities what is the concept basically in the uh, in in base entities so if you come to your course table a uh, core project and you see we have one model like category let me create another model and this model will be brand okay this model uh, and we'll set this public that's it and we can come here in the categories we can copy this and paste it here and you will see brand also has unique property similar 100% similar properties you see all, all the thing the only thing will be difference is like we can see the name is name is some sort of different is a unique this is a we can't store we can store but this is not a, a, a good approach to store all the data in one table which has similar properties but in order to create unique table we should have this unique property which will represent like this is a brand and this is the category and rest rest of the properties you can see are 100% same so we need these properties these properties and these this property in all of our table not exactly if not all we should need these properties on approximately 90% of our tables because these are generic properties we need is deleted we need created by we need created date last modified and id is indeed a primary key and absolutely we need this there is like these are generic properties so it isn't a good pro uh, approach to repeat all these pro properties again and again on each of single table or every single table instead of this we will use a concept of base entity we will create a base entity and we will inherit our child entities from that base entity and this is the real Im world implementation of inheritance which you guys learn uh, uh, in your universities object oriented programming subject uh, you always see you always listen to your professors they're giving examples of course uh, persons and things this is the real world example how you going to implement your uh, inheritance and uh, you will see we are saving like six different properties you have 10 table in your database and you, you are supposed to write 60 lines of code in every single table and this is not a good approach instead of this we should use concept of inheritance so what should we do we will add a class another class and we will write this class as base entity you can write any name uh, you can write base model you can write base class Uh, you can write parent class parent entity and but this is a convention mostly developer write this name for your base entity so we have like base entity and we will add and we will set this class as base entity so what we will do we'll come here in brands we will cut this property paste it here and after that we will cut all these properties from here and we will add here that's it and in our category table we also don't need this property and all these properties okay so we have one category class with one property name and we have brand class with one property name okay and we have over here we have base entity so in order to use all these properties in both category and uh, brand model and in our upcoming model we will inherit our classes from this base entity so we can write come here and we can inherit this from base entity and that's it okay and come here inherit from base entity okay so when i come to my package manager console every time you will make Uh, changes you will have to create migration and update your database so i will write and make sure you select business layer from here and write add migration 
and we will write name of migration edit edit base entity and I think we have migrations okay and we will add this migration so you see it has created another oh it has created nothing because we didn't do anything our base entity has the same properties which which our uh, child entity has so first of all I'm going to use remove migration I'm going to remove this migration paste it remove and what I'm going to do I'm going in my context class and over here I'm going to register another entity which is brand okay brands that's it and I'm going to add this migration one more time and we will not add our base entity in our DB context because base entity is not a table in our database so you can see it, it has added brands and that's it so we can come here and we will, we can write update database and save hit enter that's it come to your database here yeah, it's done refresh and you can see we have two tables when you expand your brand and you will see all the properties in brands as well and all the properties which was already same in the categories table but now you can see in your visual studio uh, you have only only one property within your brands table and only one property within your category table but from where from other properties are coming from from this base entity because we are inheriting our classes from base entity so this is the concept how you can use base entities in your project and you can reuse uh, code instead of copy pasting all the time so i hope you like this video and uh, we're going well obviously we have created two tables and from next video i'm not going to touch a uh, core related things this was like a basic setup how to create models and how to create database in uh, from this entity framework and base entities so obviously we need an interface uh, to to save our categories to save our brands in our database and for this we need like an admin panel because save update view delete categories and brands and products and subcategories all this stuff is done by the admin obviously so in the next video we are going to integrate a very popular admin template like uh, called admin LTE in our project and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.